Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome actually today. Welcome back to another building tips and tricks video where I'm going to be showing you guys eight different exterior furniture designs. So starting off with the first design for today, and it is of course a picnic table with like a little umbrella. Now we have multiple things going on here. We of course have the main centerpiece, which is the umbrella. Also have this really cool like little plates just all around with some, you know, some delicious steak or <laughs> I guess the lamb chops over here and looks really, really cool. Uh, we have some like cups for beverages and just a cake here for dessert. Now what I did really cool was is that I added a dispenser in the middle to look like the umbrella was being supported inside of the table, uh, sort of how you would typically see them uh, in their fashion there. But I think this is a really cool little design. Uh, more on the table though, we have a stair and some trap doors on the side, again with the dispenser in the middle of those stairs. And we have just some slabs for the seating and it works out perfectly and works for a nice little eating area. This next design here is a grill. Now I've used this plentiful amount of times in the past. Now we have campfires and smokers to combine to make a really cool looking grill and it looks really cool. Now I've gone a step further here and I've kind of added a little bit more. And the first thing that you may notice is the little trident off to the side acting as like a little pitchfork, little poker design for picking up maybe some of the steak that's on the, that is on the grill itself. So like a little spatula or whatever, just a little utensil there just to kind of help you do your little cookouts. And then we have some raw mutton over here and some cooked mutton just to show the transition between the two as it passes through the little smoker or grill. And then right here we have a little bit of storage just down in here if you want to store some food. And on the back side here we have this little sign design going all the way across because I didn't want to use trap doors for this whole thing. I decided to mix it up with a little bit of signs in there. So I think it looks really cool. I think it turned out pretty nice. Again, we just have a little campfire below the smoker and if you actually close the lid it'll actually stop the smoke well a little bit <laughs> and it'll keep kind of the smoke a little bit more contained and open it back up see that the smoke continues so just like a real grill in real life i think that's really really awesome this next design is a very simple but yet very useful and it can make your backyards look just that much more superb and just a nice little hangout area for your friends to kind of hang out. I love these in real life. I love hanging out by campfires in real life. I think it's just a nice peaceful place to be and I think it looks really, really cool. Now this is a very simple design. We just have some cobblestone and random stone and andesite in the ground itself just surrounding the campfire and then we have a half slab in each of the four sides here and we just have that going all the way around and we just have some simple little seating areas right here with some slabs and signs on the back here and you of course you can put these in any orientation that you want this is just the way i have it for this video and i just think this is a really really cool little design this next design i have here for you guys is a little pond design which i think will dress up your backyards and just make them look that much better now, of course, you can add fish into your pond here uh, just to make it a little bit more lively. But one of the things I did, one of the things I was inspired by was this really cool, like little sea pickle design. Oh, I think it's just so cool. <laughs> it looks really, really cool. And it has like this little stem used out of the stained glass here, the brown stained glass. You could also use a uh, lime stained glass as well. That really looks good or green would look pretty good as well. I just have this kind of like a little bit of depth going into the pond here with the stones and half slabs and all that stuff. And then just this extra little foliage all around here, which looks really, really cool. And I really like this. I love little ponds and I think it would be a great addition to your little exterior designs. This next one I have here is this gazebo design, which you don't really see often in like your backyards or exterior designs, whatever but it's just a nice little sitting area to come and relax and read a book maybe, potentially. I'm not a fan of reading, but for those of you that are, you might want this in your Minecraft worlds. But yeah, this looks really cool. It looks really good when it's done well, 
And yeah, just taking a look at the exterior here, just using lots of different trap door techniques and just really getting that roof shape down was a little bit tricky, but I think I got it using that birch wood to act as like a white painted wood almost. And if we go onto the inside here, we have these little kind of cushioned little couches here, which look really, really cool. And a little carpet right in the middle just to signify that this is a little bit of a cozy space and it looks really really cool maybe you don't need a big gazebo over here maybe you need a little lawn chair with just a little cup holder off to the side here well i got the design here for you and i think it looks really really chill really awesome and uh, we're going with some alternative red colors right here look look really cool you got like you can sit right here and you can just sit and look off into the white very white distance <laughs> This is just made up some, of some trap doors. And we do have a little bit of a banner under here. Now, let me show you how this is done. So I'm going to take, I guess I'll take this one right here, this stair. And as you can see, we have a banner going all the way down here to act as like a little cushion. And then right here, we have a torch. Now, the reason why we have the torch there is that way the, so the banner is lit up. And it doesn't show as a dark. If we were to get rid of that torch, you'll see that this banner, once we put the stair back, it looks really, really bad. So it's very important that we have that torch underneath that second block there. That way that the banner is lit up and it looks bright and not dark like that. And it looks light like this, this, this one <laughs> over here. Really, really cool stuff. This next design is a little bit of a simple one, but it works really effectively and can be a great addition to your backyard. Once again, as all these are, with this little wood chopping area. This is gonna just be so, so cool. And I love this little tra campfire trick where, I mean, I've done this since the beginning, since the end of time, since the beginning of time, I guess I should say, since campfires came out, I have been using this campfire technique as like chopped up wood. And I think it looks really, really cool. And I love this idea. It just looks so nice and so cozy looking and just having a little chopped up wood area with the chopping block right here. And then we have some sort of stacked up wood that is freshly cut and it's nicely stacked up here. And it's just so satisfying to look at. I mean, come on. That just looks so nice. It's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. And we have some ladders on the side here just to act as little supports just to make sure their logs don't roll off and they're stacked up nicely. And then we just have some gravel in the ground to act as like little pathing uh, between each of the little stations here. I think it looks really nice. And finally, we're ending off with a little shed design. Now, this isn't really furniture or just, I guess, yeah, I guess it's not really furniture in general, but it's just a nice little uh, way to decorate your backyard by adding a little tiny shed, you know, just a little storage shed, a little tool shed for your backyard. And as you can see, we're using some trap doors here. So we're using all trap doors for the walls, a mixture of dark oak and spruce for the walls here. Now these are in set on the block. These are on the outside blocks here. That way we can actually put stuff on the outside or in the inside rather. And then on the top here, we're just using some full blocks and some slabs for the roof, adding in a little bit of trap doors right here and here. And then over here we have a nice door with some little trap door windows and if you go on the inside you can see we have some chests for storage now you can you can put in more in here i just added a little bit of storage i don't need that much for my shed looks really really nice i love this it's just a nice simple little thing for your backyard just to dress it up along with all of these designs that i gave you guys today Tell me which one was your favorite in the comments below. I know this was sort of like a little bit of more of a simpler, just easy designs that you guys can just kind of get a little bit of inspiration off of. And yeah, let me know which one was your favorite. I would love to know. And if you do decide to build these in your world, show me pictures somewhere, anywhere, on the Afterlife Discord or on just, yeah, on Twitter, whatever. Whatever you want to send me pictures, you can do it. And that would be awesome. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you did enjoy it, leave a like. and do consider subscribing for more videos just like this one in the future. And as always, guys, don't forget to be awesome. And I will see you guys next time.